What's up? What's going on? Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload, okay? Um, been going live lately. Today I'll be going live an hour or so before lock. So, you know, make sure you gather your information all day. Uh, make sure you're on Twitter, you know, soaking up all the information, that injury information that you can. And there's been a lot of injury information already reported yesterday for today. That's on. Uh, that's on uh, um, underdog underscore NBA. Uh, so all this information applies no matter if you're playing uh, fan, fan uh, no, no matter if you're watching this on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, you know, Twitter, wherever the case may be. Uh, all that, all this information that I give you applies to prize picks, the books, and you know, I, I you know, I try to gravitate to. You know, uh, helping people, you know, find easier ways to hit these same game parlays. You know, a lot of this stuff is predicted within game flow. Okay, so uh, a, a ton of plays today. A ton of plays. A lot of lines was out last night. So you know, I, we went through this shit already. It's gonna be a lot of chalky plays that you guys already know about. I probably won't touch on them. You know what I'm saying? I'll just say bang, bang, bang. But uh, there's some there's some other players that you know you probably want to uh, you know keep an eye out on, and that's is that is what's going to make it you know uh, that's what makes this you know uh, you know fi find a value that's what makes this video always you know pretty cool you know what I'm saying so um, let's get to it man uh, let's see let me get a screen pulled up here. First game on the docket, we got a 218 over under in this one here. It was 218 and a half. The line just moved right there. So let me check Twitter and see what happened. Uh, maybe we get Brunson in because I know that's what we're waiting on for this first game. I don't know. We'll see. That, that might not have been the news right there. So the total's dropping. For some reason, the total's dropping. Hmm. Interesting. Why did the total just drop like that? Let me see. Okay, Darius Garland is not a shoot around. That's one thing, you guys. Uh, Evan Mobley was a shoot around. That's another thing. Um, and be questionable. This is a third and four for 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 uh, Philly. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it Harden got his rest day. He probably wanted to turn up, whatever the case may be. But this is a third and four for fifth, third game and four nights for Philly. It's a possibility that um, you know um, this game is a West Coast game or uh, well. You know, Pelicans. You know they 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 are west. You know what I'm saying. So you know he can afford to sit out this game. So you know keep an eye out on that. A lot of injury. A lot of injury news. A lot of injury news. So uh, we'll 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 bounce back on the live. Okay, we'll bounce back on the live. But uh, here we go. Yeah. So what I like here, uh, interesting play point out here, man. I was waiting on a number to come out all day. It's on prize picks as well. Um, I probably put this in a six pack. I don't know, but I like the over six, ten and a half rebounds for uh, uh, Mitchell Robinson. I just, you know, it is what it is. I like Mitchell Robinson as a rebounder. Uh, he's been he's been staying away from foul trouble this year, so I'll continue to ride him. You know, I'll continue to ride him. So uh, rebounds. Uh, so who we got? Um, Phoenix, okay, so Phoenix Suns, rebounds versus centers. They right there, you know, they're giving up that 15 uh, per 48, uh, 22 and a half points, whatever the case may be. So, uh, you know, I can't talk you off of it, man. It's not an official play, but I'm going to take it. Last night, uh, assist prop for Chris Paul came out at eight and a half. Uh, I had definitely had interest in that. I did not pull the trigger on a straight bet, but I threw it in the uh, – I threw it in the um, – I threw it in the uh, um, in a uh, six pack on prize picks. Now I can't uh, I can't I can't take his nine eight and a half assists under these circumstances. That you know under these circumstances, you know the state that they're in, uh, this Phoenix Suns team, it, it would have to be a double double. You know what I'm saying? No Booker. 
no Booker. So I, I, I would let them just, I would let them just hit me upside the head with a double double. You know what I'm saying? So uh, double double of uh, 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 Chris Paul at plus one forty five. Just sign me up, man. Like how, how can I not in the Garden? Like what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So you know it is what it is. I'll toss that in the in the in the, in the section over there. A lot of other things to like about this game. Randall has been on fire. You know, you don't need me to tell you anything about that. He's probably got one of the best spots on this team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he probably got one of the best spots on this team. Here, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh, a good matchup standpoint, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is with that situation. Let's just keep it moving, okay? But you know what? Prize Picks probably still has uh, assist props in at eight and a half. It went to nine. Chris Paul's went to nine, so you need ten to cash. It was eight and a half on, on over here. All right. So uh, New Orleans Pelicans at Philadelphia 76ers, 228 over under. Uh, Philadelphia did get beat. This is a, a rematch. Uh, they games played. These teams played two games ago. CJ McCullough was ultra hot in that game, man. So. Uh, this is where I like to target um, the New Orleans, I mean, the Philadelphia 76ers. I like to target them at the power four spot, and I like to target them at the guard spot. And, um, you know, it's it's only it's only good when, uh, I mean, it's only better to me, if you ask me, when Tyrese Mackey is back. So, you, not, you know, if he starts, it's really going to, you know, I'm really going to like it because, you know, neither one of these guys are the best defenders when it comes to defending the backcourt. And that's where you got C.J. McCullum at. He went off last game. His point prop is in that. 19 and a half last time last time I checked it's probably been bumped up to 20 and a half uh I got strong interest in it not an official play but I got strong interest in it uh as of right now Zion Zion Williamson his point probably went up uh to 27 and a half I think it was a 26 and a half and I like the interest I have interest in that right there as well if MB goes then uh, I, I'll have interest in um, Jonas Valanciunas rebound. They'll need his size. Okay, he went out there and hit the eight and a half rebound prop last game. So uh, it's sitting at eight and a half now. I, I don't have no problem going with it if Embiid plays. If Embiid doesn't play, then you know they can shuffle around some guys and uh, short off, short off, uh, short off, uh, short off uh, Valanciunas minutes. Um, next thing, next play. Um, the, the assist prop for James Harden ten and a half always in play. Uh, this uh, uh, this team this team will give it up to point guards uh, uh, for assists. So um, New Orleans giving up the third most assists right there. So ten and a half is not out of the realm of possibilities. Last time these two teams played, which was two games ago, he had ten assists. Okay, so you can be altering some of this shit up for same game parlays. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know, whatever, however, however you want to look at it. Okay. Uh, so yes, sir. Um, Chicago Bulls at Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, Garden was already doubtful, and then he's not that shoot around, so I expect him not to play. So you can look at Karis LeVert props. It's probably not on the books or anything right now. I think you can go back to the well. I think you can go back to the well on. Uh, I think you can go back to the well on the rebound for somebody like uh, Jared Allen. And if Mobley doesn't go, uh, if Mobley doesn't go. Then you know uh, you can go right back to the uh, well on love. Uh, that's where the Chicago Bulls team is ailing at uh, points versus the power forward position. They're giving up the second second most points versus the power forward position. Uh, they are giving up the uh, second most rebounds to the power forward position. Uh, um, the shooting guard and uh, shooting guard here. You want to go to the three ball the three ball here. Chicago Bulls are giving up the third most threes to the uh, uh, shooting guard position, and uh, you know. Uh, Donovan Mitchell had a bad game versus them, uh, but uh, uh, who picked up the slack? Uh, Kevin Love and um, Karis LeVert picked up the slack in that in, that, in the three point department there. Uh, points to the two guard position, Bulls are down there giving up the uh, points in the two guard position. You know, uh, like overall, the Chicago Bulls team they are giving up a decent amount of. Uh, Decent amount of assists there. They fourth worst as a team, uh, so that that bodes well for guys like uh, Levert and you know yada yada yada. Uh, so and then the three ball uh, as a team, the Chicago Bulls are giving up the third most, and uh, all four of these guys in the top four right here. Well, the top five out of uh, six teams are on the docket right now. Okay, top five out of six six teams are playing right now as a, a team's giving up. 
on the season, giving up uh, three balls. So, you know, there you have that. Um, yeah, so can't talk you off the Zach Levine three ball either. All right, but I'm going to keep it moving. Mm. Mm. Los Angeles Lakers at uh, Charlotte Hornets here. We got a 242 and a half over under in this spot. This is the highest total on the, on the slate here. Uh, respect points to be put up here. Beautiful environment for uh, same game parlays. Uh, so I just don't like not just one 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 play here. I don't like not, not just one play here. I like a lot of plays here. Uh, we can start off with the three point section here. Uh, Lamelo balls three balls sitting at three and a half right now. It's juiced up. Uh, five threes for him. You, you know it's not that much value. Uh, you can fade it if you want. That's a lot of work. Um, last time Terry Rozier hit. Multiple threes, it was against this team, okay? That was about five or six games ago. He had five threes versus this Lakers team. Um, so four threes for Terry Rozier is plus 410, okay? Um, two and a half threes, you get great value at two, at, at two and a half. It's just, he's just been burning me, man. He's been burning me. Uh, P.J. Washington, uh, I think he's going to uh, hit the three ball today. Um, it's two threes at plus one at minus one forty two. Three threes for PJ Washington at uh, plus two forty. Um, he's hit this number versus this team, I believe. He hit that number versus this team last time these two teams played. No Kelly Oubre. Um, Kelly Oubre um, did not play that. He did play that game versus the Lakers. He went one for six from beyond the arc. So um, th there will be no Kelly Oubre this game and. Uh, you know, that's more shots for a guy like P.J. Washington. P.J. Washington has played 30 minutes in uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nine of his last 10 games, uh, multiple threes, and lately he's hit 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, four of his last five games, he's had multiple threes. Versus this Lakers, he hit three threes. Uh, I like the target players versus LeBron James and Russell Westbrook and guys like that. They know that they... Uh, they know that they, 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 you know, they, they know that they need to be there for their team. So uh, they, they, they don't want to get into foul trouble. I, I never take Gordon Henry for threes. Take him for raw points. Uh, uh, combos, <sighs> PRAs, uh, PRAs, points, rebounds, assists, points and rebounds. Whatever the case may be, I think that's a play for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for uh, Lamelo Ball. So don't get it twisted. Um, even if, I don't care what it is, man, you know, uh, so that's in play. And then points for uh, LeBron James. So it's this just really shapes up to be a nice same game parlay environment. I mean, rebounds and assists for Mason Plumley. I can't talk about that. Points and rebounds for Mason Plumley. points and assists. You can go either way you want to go. All right. Uh, Thomas Bryant is in a great spot, you know, Biggs versus Charlotte Hornets. So, you know, all these guys are in good spots here. <laughs> What else can I say? I mean, this is the same game parlay written all over it. You know, it has the same game parlay written all over it. Toronto Raptors at uh, uh, Indiana Pacers here. We got 232 over under in the spot. Um, I didn't check the numbers uh, to see how good Pascal Siakam is versus the uh, Indiana Pacers. Uh, Pacers versus the Power 4 spot. Mm, points. Rebounds. Assist. Okay. He's a different breed. However, uh, however, um, I like the uh, I like the assist prop, man. I like the assist prop for um uh, for uh of course, you know, how can I not? You know what I'm saying? So I, I have interest in the assist assist prop for uh uh um <clears throat> Tyrese Halliburton here, okay? So Tyrese Harbin six props in at nine and a half right now. Uh, can't talk you off of that. Uh, double double for him. You know it's not out of the realm of possibilities. I like that though. Uh, prize picture will get his uh, assist prop sitting at. Let's see. They don't have it out right now unless I went. Oh, here it is, right there in my face. Uh, so you know I like that. I like that. Can't talk you off. Uh, McCollum says. Neither, neither, neither can I take you off Lamelo Ball assists, even in uh, rebounds and rebounds and assists for uh, uh, at fourteen and a half. Yep, for Melo and PRAs for Melo. 
So I can't talk about none of that shit. So yeah. Um the three ball, the three ball for Toronto, I mean for um Buddy Hill is definitely in play. Uh when you're looking at the three ball here. And you're looking at the two guard spot here. Toronto, they down there around the bottom third. They're giving up the three ball. Uh, so that's two and a half. And then when you look at the small four, uh, Toronto, they peeking out at the bottom third right there, two and a half. So uh, then, like I said, he's just a different breed when it comes to shooting that ball. So, uh, you know, he's hit, frequently hit that three and a half, uh, three ball, uh, three point prop there. You know what I'm saying? So I can't talk to you off of that. All right. Uh, those are some players I like there. Um, Let's see. San Antonio and Brooklyn Nets here, 236 and a half over under. A uh, big spread here, so I can't, I don't really fuck with the big spreads like that. Uh, when it comes to the spread like that, I probably can't do nothing but take Brooklyn, I mean, San Antonio on, on the spread, in the spread of that nature right there. But uh, yeah, so. Um, <clears throat> You don't need me to tell you that Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant are in great spots, and I, you know, I love the numbers from them. Kyrie Irving has been smashing the three ball, uh, his three point prop. He's been smashing that. Uh, from a statistical category, you know, uh, this um, this um, this San Antonio team defending the three is not very good. Okay, so. Kyrie Irving, he's you know three and a half threes. He's been he's been smashing that. All right, he's been smashing that. So I can't talk you off the over for that or his points there. Um, so Durant, I really don't go to Durant for threes. And then we got a big spread. So you, sometimes you want to be weary. Then um, uh, Devin Vassell hasn't played since the twenty seventh, I believe. Uh, Kevin Johnson is coming around. Uh, his three ball is coming around. So I can't talk you off of that. Um, where I really have some interest in, man, is now I always tell you, uh, you know, you, the coach is not going to tell you when these when these players come off of minutes restriction, okay? So uh, I've been watching Yaka Perto. I've been watching Yaka Perto. I've been live betting Yaka Perto. So, you know, his minutes has been 21, 24, 26, 29, and 30, gradually going up, all right? So he played 30 minutes versus Dallas, went out there and had 19, 15, and six assists. Uh, here's a guy that's averaging three assists on the season. He's going to average more assists. He's going to average around four, four and a half, about four assists on the season. All right. Um, double, double, well, double digit rebounds in back to back games. Um, so here's, here's the thing. I, I just imagine he's off his minutes restriction here. All right. I like the matchup for him in this spot here. Uh, I can't talk you off his rebounds. Uh, uh, Yaka Perto rebounds sitting at nine and a half. I can't take, talk you off of that. A uh, big body down there. Um, his assist props in the two and a half. Uh, definitely can't talk off of that. Um, so, you know, and then his points. You know, in most instances, certain instances, he can pop out with about 15, 20 points. You know what I'm saying? He had 19 points last game versus uh, Houston Rockets. His point prop is sitting at 12 and a half. You can also look at his combos. All right. So uh, I don't I don't I don't fully know how I want to attack it right now. I can attack the rebounds and assists. Uh, for Yaka Perto at 11 and a half, I think that's okay. Um, points and rebounds, mm, points and assists, you know, I don't know, man. I have to really, really look. I'm thinking rebounds and assists is probably going to be the, a way that I probably want to attack it if I'm looking at a combo here. But double-double, uh, man, double-double is not out of the realm possibility. So uh, I'll leave that I'll leave that on the side right there, okay? I'll put a little double-double if you want to uh, get a little – uh, if you want to get a little shysty going on around here. All right, so y'all can put a double doubles plus 155. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'll put that in the best section over there so you guys can look at that. But yeah, man, you don't need me to tell me about, you need me to tell you about these Brooklyn Nets guys. They've been killing it lately, man. Uh, but you know, sometimes those those Portland, I mean, those San Antonio guys, they find a way to stick around and everybody hits their props and, you know, you know they cover the spread. You know what I'm saying? I really liked it. If they were at home, I would have probably took the 12 and a half. But the only thing about that is San Antonio Spurs is on the road. So they might still get their ass blew out. Denver Nuggets at Minnesota Timberwolves, 233 over under in this spot here. Uh, both of these teams here, statistically, they, you know, like, come on. I mean, look. 
Uh, let's see. Um, I don't have interest in the guard spots here, man. Uh, I'd imagine. Um, I'd imagine. Uh, I'd imagine. Um, Jamal Murray is going to play today, and that's that. That just adds more, adds more, adds 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 more bad defense. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That adds more bad defense. So uh, here, here's two teams that are bad against the point guards uh, position. Okay, so uh, Denver Nuggets giving up 27, and um, um, Minnesota Timberwolves giving up 25 to that point guard spot there. So you know, uh, assist wise uh, to the point guard. Um, Denver Nuggets giving up the most assists. That's D'Angelo Russell. Um, let's see. Three bout the three pointers. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves right there. And Denver Nuggets right there. Uh, giving up um three, at least three, three threes to that position right there. Okay. So uh the, the guards are in play here. Point guards are in play. All right. Uh Ant Man, he, you know, he can be aggressive here. I just don't know who's gonna guard him. I don't know who's going to guard him. Maybe somebody like uh, I don't know if Aaron Gordon's going to pick him up. I don't know, man. I don't know. But he's been ultra aggressive, and I still can't talk you off of uh, uh, Anthony Edwards' point prop here. He's been ultra, ultra aggressive, all right? And the Joker's going to do what he's going to do. I got interest in these guards, though, to tell you the truth. Uh, let's see if, uh, if Murray plays today, all right? I want to see if Murray plays. Let's see what these numbers look like. Jamal Murray point props sitting at 19 and a half. DeAndre Russell point props sitting at 18 and a half. DeAndre Russell's threes sitting at two and a half. I like DeAndre Russell points and threes. And I can't talk you off Anthony Edwards points or threes, man. You know? So I like both of those. I ain't even going to lie. I like both of those. Um, it's been a minute. It's been four games since he had uh Daniel Russell hit three threes, but uh, you know, he's hit this he's hit this point prop in three of his last five games. Anthony Edwards has just been on one. He's been on he's been on one, man. You know, his point prop, you know, the threes and everything. He's hit this three prop in uh three of his last five games, taking a ton of threes. He he's been on one, so you know, he's been on one. His points probably sitting at 25 and a half for plus money. It seems fishy, but man, he's smashing this shit. Uh let's see. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of his last nine games. He hit this points prop there. You get in for a good number if you think he can get there. Uh so you know, it is what it is. What's the total of this game here, man? 233 over under. Hmm. Shit, both of these teams putting up points, man. This might be an over game here, man. Slight lean towards the over 233, okay? Slight lean towards the over 233. There's a play, there's a side, there's a side for y'all. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Dallas Mavericks, Houston Rockets. Listen, man. Need I say anything? Should I need to say anything? Okay, need to see should I say anything? I'll say this right here. Luka Doncic, you know, everything is in play. All his numbers are in play. Triple-double, all that. Uh, keep an eye on the status of uh, Alper Shingun, okay? He's questionable today. He's questionable, all right? So that's big news. That's big news, all right? Either way it goes. I like the points. I like the threes for everybody. Tim Hardaway Jr., um, I took his 15 and a half points last night. Uh, so uh, three ball for him, three and a half. I like that. Uh, uh, Luca threes. Uh, Bullock, Bullock threes. Uh, Wood threes. He hit five threes versus them last game. I mean, Wood points was sitting at 19 and a half at one point. You know, I, I like that. So you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't really have to fuck with none of those Houston players. All right? Houston at home, though. So, you know, they probably play a little bit better at home. But, you know, it is what it is. 
Man, Atlanta, there's so many juicy games. This shit crazy as fuck. Atlanta Hawks at uh, Golden State Warriors, man. So, look, man, I'm going to have interest in Looney rebound props, and I'm going to have to have interest in um, we're gonna have, uh, a combo rebound props. But I'm going to have interest in Looney rebound prop, okay? Now, um, point guard matchups here. Uh, this Golden State team, uh, they can give up the points there. So, they 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 ran, they ran the bottom and giving up points to the uh, point guard spot at the end of threes. Uh, they give up the second most threes to the point guard spot per 48. So that's trade. All right, two and a half threes is in play. Uh, the assists don't show here for these uh, uh, for these guys, but hey, go to state where uh, oh, you got trade. Uh, the nine and a half assist prop, it's got to be in play for me. You know, it's got to be in play. All right, so it's got to be in play. I mean, it's trade. So uh, I can't talk to you off the nine and a half assist there. Um, is it still nine and a half or is it a solid 10? It's still at nine and a half. Uh, so I, I think that's doable. Um, the three ball is going to be flying, bro. It's going to be flying, man. And then last time I checked, I seen, um, let's see. I had some interest in Jordan Poole assist prop here. It's at five and a half now. I thought it came out at four and a half. It, it still could be hit. Uh, I'll leave that. I'll leave that to a little bit later on. But like I said, uh, this game here, you know, it's it's, it's good. it should be a great game. The same game parlay. You got a Kongu, Looney, Draymond Green. Uh, whatever that boy name is. Uh, Draymond Green matched up with John Collins. Yeah. DeAndre Hunter. He hasn't played since the 23rd. He's questionable. Keep an eye out on that. I mean, Clay, Murray. It's going to be one, man. So, uh, same game parlay this one here. Uh, same game parlay. Same game parlay this one here. Um, Detroit Pistons and Portland Trail Blazers. Don't know if Nurkic is going to play here. Uh, if Nurtures doesn't play, you'll get some Collins. Detroit, Detroit uh, backcourt, they, they're terrible. Uh, and then um, Jay Ivey, he owes us something. Right along with Duran, he owes us too, man. You know, so, uh, man, I, you know, it's going to be Portland Trailblazers and nothing for me if I'm betting on this game. Got 232 over 100 in this spot. Uh, Isaiah Stewart running the four and um, Grant, Jamie Grant running the four over here in Portland. So, a uh, big versus little, big guy versus little guy. That'll be interesting here to see how these guys will be able to guard each other. Dame, Dame Lillard, and um, Anthony Simons. They're in wonderful spots. Don't need me to. Don't need me to. You don't even need me to even go there. All right. Miami Heat and Los Angeles Clippers here, two nineteen over under the spot. Um, I have interest in the. I mean, anytime you get anytime you get Kawhi Leonard playing at twenty one, man, I'm gonna have interest in it. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to guard Kawhi Leonard and or Paul George. You got Paul George running the two, Kawhi at the three. Um, give me these Clippers, man. I like Clippers to win this game. And uh, give me Kawhi Leonard over his points, man. Um, I can't talk you off of uh, Paul George over his points either. These are the highest usage guys over here. Uh, Bam Adebayo, uh, we're going to face up with uh, Evika Zubak. Uh, Truthfully, I can't talk you off neither one of these guys' rebounds here. Uh, I, I see a pathway where Bam gets to his rebounds, though. All right? Jimmy Butler, I'm just not fucking with Jimmy Butler right now. It just is what it is. Uh, you know, so it is what it is with that situation, man. This Miami team, as a team, you know, I'll just point a few things out. Miami, they will give up the three ball. They give up the fourth most threes as a team on the season. All right? Uh, they will give up the three ball to the, let's see, to the to the small forward, the shooting guard, that's Paul George. Small forward, that's uh, Kawhi Leonard, okay? Fourth most, uh, the power forward, that is, well, it's not there right now. That's something I won't go there. But you know they would. They could get stretched stretched out as a team, though. You know that's Morris right there. You know what I'm saying? That's Morris right there. So you know it is what it is. All right, guys. It is what it is. Uh, 
know. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.